Alright, so in 2022, there have been many new tablets released, from Apple, Samsung, and even some others. So, we're going over the best ones for most people, split into five categories. Let's go over the list. To start, we've got the best budget tablet, and that goes to the ninth generation Apple iPad. This tablet starts at an extremely reasonable $330, and it is a great device for most people. It's great for both consuming content and taking notes on. However, one thing to note is that likely around September or this fall in general, there will be another iPad release. So keep in mind the timing of your purchase if you want to get the new 10th gen iPad. And if you're looking for something cheaper than that, you can check out the Amazon Fire HD 10. With an astounding price tag, the Fire 10 is a good tablet for many folks. Now, it's not an iPad, so it doesn't have that Apple quality, but you do get a great battery life and Amazon Alexa. So it's a good tablet for a great price. And now, onto my next recommended tablet. This one is a tablet, but also kind of a laptop. It's a laptopy tablet the Surface Go 3. It runs Windows 11, meaning it can do anything a typical computer can do. But it also has a touchscreen and has the form factor of a handheld, so it can also perform like a tablet. The issues that come with this though are its battery life and its entry-level processor, which are not great, but they will certainly allow you to complete much of your work. Besides those, the Surface Go 3 is a fantastic hybrid, allowing you the freedom and versatility to do what you want. Now onto my next category, the best tablet for media consumption, the Lenovo Yoga Tab 13. With its large screen, the tablet is built for content consumption and a perfect viewing experience. It also has a great resolution and a whole stainless steel stand that it can use as a handle. It really is purpose built for you to watch videos on, and it doesn't disappoint. And now we're getting onto the more well-rounded devices. First, let's go over the premium ones before we get to the best overall. These will cover all your needs, plus more. And I recommend either the Apple iPad Pro or the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Let's start with the iPad Pro. It really has all the bells and whistles that you want. The M1 chip, 120Hz display, mini LED, plus even more. So if you want a show-stopping tablet that is great for work, check out the iPad Pro. But at the same time, definitely check out the Tab S8 Ultra, which will also be show-stopping, with a 14.6-inch, 120Hz, Super AMOLED display. The tablet is massive and gorgeous. Plus, it comes with Samsung DeX, which turns it into a functional laptopy tablet. So these are both great tablets for you, nearly perfect I'd say. But they're very expensive, and each has its own flaws. Which is why, although these are the best tablets money can buy, they're not the best for most people. So with all that said, for the best overall tablets, I have two choices the Apple iPad Air, and Samsung Tab S8. In the end, I decided to include both because they are great tablets for different users. However, I would say that the iPad Air is a little bit more versatile. Here's why. The M1 iPad Air pretty much has every feature of the iPad Pro, minus mini LED and the 120Hz refresh rate, which are both negligible, especially for the typical user. Plus, it has a great price, and I got to admit, since it's a part of the Apple ecosystem, it is very appealing to college students. And the performance of the M1 chip is fantastic, but it does not come with the Apple Pencil in the box, so you will need to pay extra for it. The Tab S8, on the other hand, does come with the S Pen, so you don't need to pay extra for it. And it has the accessibility of Android, meaning far greater freedom than iPad OS. Plus, it does have a 120Hz display, something the iPad Air is missing. So you can see that each of these tablets has its strengths and weaknesses. It's a give or take. But overall, for most people, either tablet will satisfy your wants and your needs. Which is why I included both of them. They're great tablets. However, I would like to note that tablets are meant to be complements to your setup, so make sure whichever one you choose fits in with your current tech ecosystem. For instance, I recommend you get the iPad Air if you have mostly Apple products, or get the Tab S8 if you have mostly Android devices. Additionally, make sure you take advantage of the student and back to school discounts as well. Anyway, my name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, pronounced like Cyrus, just take out the terror. Thank you very much for watching, good luck with your purchase, and have a wonderful day.